Hi everybody, this is Ian Lamont. I am the founder of In 30 Minutes Guides, including books like Microsoft Word, In 30 Minutes by author Angela Rose in our line of cheat sheets. And today I'm gonna to show you how to hook up an external monitor to your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. And this actually came up when I was using, uh, you know, Word or Excel or Google Drive, and I wanted to be able to kind of compare files on two different screens. So I bought an external monitor, and then I hooked it up to this, and this is how it works. So one thing you should note on MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs, they do not have an HDMI external output anymore. Uh, this is a big problem, and you actually have to buy an adapter. There's a couple different adapters you can get, a USB-C to which might have some HDMI ports on it, like this one. Um, there's also the official Apple converter. I actually prefer to use this one uh, for, the, for the reason is that it allows you to actually hook up two external monitors, and I, I covered that in a separate video. But in this case, we're just gonna hook up this one monitor to this MacBook, so we can have two screens going at the same time. This is how to do it. First of all, plug in your MacBook, turn it on, have it powered up, get your monitor all set up too. And basically that just means plugging it in and then hooking up the HDMI cable. That's this thing from the back of that, from the back of the monitor uh, and then get it somewhere near your MacBook Pro or your uh, MacBook Air. And then the second thing you need to do is to use one of these adapters. So I'm gonna try to use this adapter right here. This is kind of a, you know, a, a cheapo one that I got. It has uh, several HDMI out ports, but I've discovered for the, Max actually can only have one uh, screen, one external screen. You can't have two external screens that show different things. Um, and I'll, in my other video where I do hook up uh, a MacBook to two external, uh, two external screens, I'll show you how that works. But in this case, this is good enough just for one external screen. So basically what you do is you, you put the HDMI cable into the adapter, and then you put that into one of the USB-C ports on the MacBook or the MacBook Air. You may see the screen turn off and the other screen turn on. It's kind of thinking about it. And interesting, now it's showing the same image on both of these. Now this may be useful for some people and actually what I've done in the past is I've had um, uh, like a video running on this and then at a trade show, we have it showing on the external monitor. So you have the same thing showing. But in many cases, you will not want that. You'll want to have like uh, uh, one screen here showing one document and then another screen here showing another document. This is how to, to, to set that up. So um, actually what I have to do is I have to plug in, I, I'm just gonna use the, the trackpad on the Mac, that will work fine. Uh, or you could hook up a mouse to your, uh, to your Mac. But basically what I'm gonna do is click on the Apple symbol, go to System Preferences, and then Displays. Okay, so you will come to this particular uh, particular screen. So there's, you're actually, you're actually seeing two here. This is for the MacBook. This is for the external monitor. Go to the tab that says arrangement. And if it says mirror displays, that means the same thing will be shown on the Mac, on the Mac screen and on the external monitor. Uncheck this to have two separate screens going on. Whoops. So I'm going to uncheck that. It'll turn off and then it turns back on again. Now, uh, the interesting thing here is this is the, hold on here. So this is the kind of the main screen. And if I take my mouse and scroll off, it actually show you can see it shows up on the second screen. If I wanna reverse things around, basically go back to the display. And first of all, you can put the, the uh, small screen over here and the big screen over there. So now it makes more sense. So now if I'm going left to right, right to left, it, it, it's kind of aligned properly. The other thing is, is if I wanna make the this screen the main screen, and when I say main screen, I mean the screen where you can look at the dock or kind of the, all of your activities are concentrated at first on this main screen. If I wanna switch that around, grab the title bar here at the top and then just put it on the other one. So now my MacBook is the main screen and this is my secondary screen. So what I could do is for instance, I could, actually I might not be able to do that. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire up two programs. Let's, do, let's use Safari. So Safari is on this screen and then I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, actually let's put Safari on 
this, this screen. So basically you drag it over. So there's Safari on that screen. And then, let's see if I can get the other one to work. Yeah. Let's get um, Microsoft Word on this screen. So that, it's not gonna let me do that. Or here's another example. I can have, oh, here it is, okay. This is what we wanted. So you can see now I have Microsoft Word over here. And then on the small screen, I have Safari running. So I could be like doing research on this one. Like let's look at this particular site that I go to all the time. And then I could be typing notes on this one. So this is a test. Oops. So for more information on how to get the most out of your computer, check out my YouTube channel, which you're watching right now, subscribe to it. Uh, or you can go to in30minutes.com and see the other types of guides that we have available. This is Ian Lamont for In 30 Minutes Guides. Thank you so much for watching.